All right. Well, my doggo is completely out. I'm like, usually she wants out by now. Anyways, second run, so we retire our hero. And now that I mentioned that she's asleep, she woke up. Uh, head off, hope you have a good run. Thank you very much, man. I actually cannot take perfectionists. You know what? If I'm going to do the reset strats, why not really commit to the reset strats? I'm going to just retire this hero as well. Get one with actually a gold gain. See how long it takes of just resetting. I actually think this is bad enough that I shouldn't. Yeah, no. Hephaestus Hammer just deals so little damage. But... I don't have shield as a talent. This is, yeah, no, this is levels of ridiculous. It's gonna suck when I get to... That actually acted as a slight jump and actually worked. And I'm impressed. By both my ingenuity and the fact that my ingenuity actually did as I thought it would. That time I was on cooldown. Didn't die. Good enough for me. Yep. This is going to be an awkward one, to say the least. I'm definitely relying on my spell to deal most of the damage for this character, but... Hey, chest. Effectively free, as far as I care. 125 gold. Not a worthwhile equipment. Alright, down to the right we go. I don't think we found anything of significance along the way. And no, I'm not. That's actually a long route for the chest, so. I believe, even in these dark of ta dark times. I had no idea that thing could reach up here. Found the book, found this exit. Alright. Let's hope that I find Dash very soon. Well, thank you all for hoping. I really appreciate it. Well, this is going to be an interesting challenge. Not having the correct weapon for this.
Alright, we do not have enough mana to do the general route, so we're going the long way. Quite the endeavor, and the fact that it's working is actually impressive in my mind. Alright. The hammer matters. And the crescendo is like the best talent when it's not the shield. So. We're doing alright, given the circumstances. Given the circumstances, this is actually going okay. We found the top, so head down, I guess? Yeah, so I'll head down, and if I don't find Eno, if I don't find Lamech, I'll find Paishan. And I can use Paishan to teleport. The eye check. I recognize that technically could not have been the room, but it could have been connected. them for some recovery. I'm not using fireballs. Alright. Let's find Lamech. And it looks like the entry point is actually the better place to start. Found him. We don't have any mana, though, so... Whew. Oh no. Yeah. Alright. Well, I used my talent. My thing I picked up, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Hephaestus Hammer is a penalty, not a benefit. Because anyone's curious. Alright. Hmm. We now go to Axis Mundi.
Alright. So I'm trying to think, what would be the perfect category, like, perfect item setup? I think it would be, um, start with, like, a knight with flame barrier, the traits being motionless regularity and cartographer. So that's plus 25% gold gain, and as long as I can keep the flame barrier up, it deals double damage. So, and the way it works, it will just... If you have more mana than the item, it will just drain your mana away, so... It actually works out. So then the cartographer can map it out, and then yeah, if the cartographer then finds serrated handles, then that's just like, alright, well... Just don't make a mistake and you win. Game over. That's the perfect setup. I'd rather not spend two minutes retiring the hero for that. The mana potion is actually valuable because of the lotus stem. Unfortunate. Not a good one. I was bouncing off the or bounce off the door instead of the projectile basically Ooh. well we have enough gold we have a good amount of gold, which is kind of expected for this sort of reset style of run. If you don't have enough gold, you have issues. The whole point of this theme is to make gold easier to acquire. So, if you don't get gold while this is active. because I was taking the hit, and I'd rather not. Always bury chest. Possibly get myself a uh, item worth. Not these little destructibles are actually 
very nice. Because if I find another potion, I recover my relic. Alright, well we got more health. That's good enough for me. not die because as long as it's taking to kill it'll take longer if I have to go through it again. Alright. Labradroid, are you still waiting in line? Or are you, have you filled your way out? Because, I think at this rate, yeah, I've been streaming for long enough. We had another run, so. Alright. Well. We have health. And we'll be destroying every object on our path, so this might give us our heals that we need. Might. Awesome, that's that, fill out. Dash setup. Sir Quet Steiner feels great. Now we actually have damage. Yeah, I don't care that I lost max health with that. Or that I'm going to lose max health by that plus lilies. I'm happy. That's 26 max health per, but we have two apples to. Or, yeah, two apples to compensate, so. Right, wolves actually get knocked back for that. That actually makes it good against wolf. Makes those wargs not a threat for this character. Wow. Oh my gosh! Because of my item, I'm like, why am I taking zero? Game blocked. Found a maw that felt good. And we got another apple, so it's actually 290 that's 
guarding me, so that's pretty awesome. This is actually turning out pretty nice with Hephaestus. Especially since we got Sir Steiner to actually deal damage. Oh my gosh, I can even pick up the potions to recover my trait. Awesome. Yeah, these are gonna be a joke as long as I. Oh, never mind. Forgot that doesn't work as I expected to. Close enough to full health as far as I care. Alright, so we're going to lose 29 max health on the next Lily pickup, and then we gain back our 58 health when we actually get, when we actually kill Namah. I believe it's closer here. Yep. Down to the left from here. check if there was anything of value. Alright, we're basically at full health, full mana, full charges. Yep. I will not be able to destroy the lantern wall, but... I think everything else can be leveraged to the point where I don't need to. I have fu I can constantly chip away with burn damage plus Sir Quetstiner. And my health is significant enough. You did your job. Oh, I can't even reach it. Well, I'm going to be taking some hits from them, I'm assuming. The nightmares, because whenever they spawn, I'm immediately going to be considered hacking. Yeah, I didn't. I couldn't think of a way out. Well, we're probably going to have to use the book after this.
Yep. That wasn't fun. Hephaestus Hammer on Phase 2 was not fun. Because they clean up and then they immediately trigger. Alright. Well, here's the question. Do we go for Book, or do I actually have the Guts? I say because of this weird weapon, I'm going to go for Guts. Like, if I die... Oh, well, I had this weird weapon, so... If I don't die... Cool beans. That's the goal. Want it, but can't. I was hoping it was an item so I could just pick it up and run. Well, not dead. Not that is sometimes all you need. And I even have books still. So. Good to be me. Even when it's bad. Can't believe this hammer has carried me through as much as it has. I would have thought for certain this would be a bad showing. And like time-wise, it's actually pretty poor, but it's okay, actually. Honestly, we beat the Maw already. I think this is okay showing, especially if I get a good Stiggy and Study. checked something real fast and it caused me to lose one of my charges and all my mana. So now I need another mana potion now that we are out of mana potions in this heirloom. That was all my fault. My own foolishness. I'm like, oh, if I hit the water, I can just um, grab that meat lantern. And then I look down and I realize I don't have damage and I don't have mana. So, major mistake on my part. Checking this for Murmur. Nope. Yep, just want to make sure, because Murmur could be in those corners, and I'd rather not have to back have the great backtracking. Set up from here. Oh yeah, the crossbows can't actually hit me as long as I'm spinning. If I have confidence in finding another apple. Actually, actually, if I could get my mana back. I could get my mana back. So now it deals zero damage if I 
end up back there again, but I'm not gonna end up back there right now, I don't think. Right now we're heading to Enoch, but I could grab this apple as healing. That's good enough for me. Not interested in either. And now I just use my charge to bring my max health higher. It's Crescent Cape. Okay, that's the best magic cape in the game that, like, you can get within reason. Alright, found this. Let's head back to the entrance. We still need to find um, both mini bosses, basically. All right, full health. Yes, that will recharge my item, so we're grabbing that. I don't think there's anything that breaks properly. Go! 9,861 gold. We're approaching 10,000 gold. And. Yeah. These are looking good. We continue to go left to find Gone Heads. I think when I find Gone Heads, I just climb the Sun Tower instead of fighting them. I mean, I have 320 health, plus at least one Lotus Stem charge. Not where I want to use my Lotus Stem Charge, but okay. Are you kidding me? Those are the worst, by the way. Those are, like, just flat out the worst. Alright, change of plans. With me losing my Lotus Stem Charge, taking some damage... And all that stuff. I'd rather face gone heads.
There we go. Alright, back to max health. Still no low stem charges, though. Let's kill Enoch. Let's kill Enoch. Yep, and these chasers mean nothing. the wrong button with a similar effect, that's okay. Alright. Now we grab Sequet Steiner. Or, now we grab this. And we're still at full health, everyone. So now we just have to go through that nightmare of a sun tower. That's our next stop. And if we get to the top without dying, we can then go grab the book to make sure I rat is a cake, piece of cake. Still on this contrarian? Yes, I am. Ended up being better than expected. By quite a bit. Alright, cool.
damage is definitely a sore spot, but... Oh, no, 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 I have to go here. Yeah, as you can see, we got all the way to 300 health. So once you got, once I got there, it's like not using this contrarian. All right. Gonna pick it up. My bad. All right. We now pick up the book, get ourselves to absurd amounts of health. And with that book picked up, we then go face Irad. Remember, I want to grab mana potions even when I don't have mana. I think there's only one mana potion in here, though, unfortunately. One guaranteed mana potion at the very least. That's a meat, not a mana potion. Ooh. Yep, I got Sir Quet Steiner, or else, yeah, I would have gone rid of this character quite a while ago. Do this the normal way, fortunately. Just damage does not make sense within these nightmare rooms. Alright. I actually did not want to be at full full mana because at full mana I'd use the charge. I want to save that charge for Irad. There we go. So now we go up to the throne room. Picking up the keys are going to be a nightmare with this character because they're at 100 resolve precisely, but I'm going to try it. I see no reason not to try it. All my time loss has just been from the fact that this weapon is not fast enough. And yeah, I'm putting the damage I need sometimes. That attack is just does nothing. Same as with the, um, the, sorry, same with the, um, Valkyrie talent, the only thing that that breaks is the ones we can kill just by punching them.
didn't see myself getting out in time. Oh well. Alright, well, 220 health, Lotus Stems if I can recharge my mana, if I can find potions. It's as set as we're gonna be. It would be funny if I actually pulled this off with one life. There's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not even gonna try to ball with this life, but that would have been funny, yeah. Here we go. So this Sun Lantern is the reason we need to be Irad before we can even enter this area. Alright, one directly below us. That's actually really good. Alright, so now we need to find its... Key. Which could be that room as far as we know. Oop. Oh well. We have enough money, and then some. A full heal there. Nice. Well. Alright. We have full charges. Oh. One to the right, and others down. Hey, it's the Onyx Key! This is actually perfect. This is a dangerous room, so I'm just leaving, and we can actually pop open that gate immediately. I don't think we actually fight it. I think we just pop it open and leave it to the boxer that will come after this character to fight it. Hey, how's it going, Cracket Style? Glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. We are doing this run, and we ended up with a character with... A trait that gives them a random starting um, weapon and talent. So we've been doing all of this run with Hephaestus Hammer so far. From Lamech all the way across. Oof, the band hammer? I guess, yep. Alright, well I have the pearl key. If I can actually take it somewhere. Alright, I have a teleport, that's good. Mana potion's actually very valuable. Alright. If I can recover my mana, I can survive some hits.
another mana potion. Alright, so now I just need to get that other teleport, and then this character has done their job. Yeah. Alright, now we just need to figure out how to get to that teleport. I was going to say, or I could fight this boss, but then I just beefed it. Actually, if I don't fight this boss, I'm never going to get around to it because it's so far away. I know this is... the odds are against me, but I think this is where I have to be. Whether I want to, I, whether or not I want to be here. And I used the, the charge on that attack. That's... Or on the spikes, which don't deal as much damage. That definitely feels bad. Not dead. Consider that achievement right now. You could see the music coming out. Oh well. I stayed with you too long. It ripped the bam hammer, but the bam hammer did its job and then some. So, can finally invent money, basically. Yep. Do that so I can pick up the awesome cape I found because I found an amazing cape we're gonna lock down My experience with the game just going to get slower once they release the final boss. I mean, it's going to take longer, yes. But that doesn't really mean it's slower. It means that there's more to the speedrun. Um, so, yeah, we will have to... Um, like, the Far Shores update world record was like 22 minutes or something like that. The initial first speedrun of this game, the world record was like 5 minutes. There wasn't much. It was just this first area. So... Yeah, we will have to increase the the time. Um, we do rec people do recognize the difference between a run on the final patch and the run that's not on the final patch. So 
there's usually a cat a section in speedrun.com when we get there. One of them's dead. There we go. That's closer to what we're looking for. Happy to see it. And we are just staying here because we need to come here anyways. Alright. Seems like we need to go. Oh. Did I really lose that much health from a single hit? I did. Alright. So it seems like the correct route to get to the exit is this way. Nice trait, but we have the best trait in the game for fighting, so... Can't really trade it out. Alright. When you kill with the talent called Knockout Punch, yep. Um, so to get the KO, it specifically has to kill with Knockout Punch Attack. But the Knockout Punch Attack is my main source of damage on the bosses, so it is pretty likely that that occurs. Um, but yeah, that's the way that that happens. Alright, this wasn't as far as it looked initially. that. I need to find meat so I can survive more than one hit. That's not meat. Oh well. Just do it perfect. Uh, the dash effect caused me to actually break that. Is that a wind box? I'm not even sure if wind boxes exist in this game, but definitely seemed like it moved by being close to the attack without being hit by the attack itself. All my time was lost because of Hephaestus Hammer. Oh well. We did the rest of it. And we now have the lock. I'm gonna go with Magma Mass. Because, one, I don't have to deal with the color blindness. And two, I don't really need a reason beyond that. Alright. I'm still happy that I decided to stay and try the Hephaestus Hammer, even if it didn't pay off. Even if it didn't pay off. Here we go. Now we see how long it takes us to kill this properly. Ooh, 
good to see a good hit right off the bat. And yeah, I'm keeping this 30 punch so I can use it when they summon one. Or I could just use it now to protect myself. I'm wanting to run into two ball, but they ran into each other. And I have to accept that. Thirty, keep, just keep the thirty. Darn it. Hey, they're on first life, anyways. Very large tree man, Smithina, incredibly fast speed. Yep. Um, the tree man is actually root. It's actually a Groot. Um, he has a root inside his body, which causes him to look like that. So he's actually more of an I am Groot crafts really quickly. But yeah, most of that run was done with a Hephaestus hammer, which <laughs> is hilarious. That actually is a good run with that consideration. Thank you, Lady Lisa, for finishing it off. Uh, that's actually that was a fun run even if it wasn't like that good of a run and hey it got nearly sub hour I'd say that's pretty good um, also the boss door he just threw out a construction sign is yeah dude the first time we saw that it was hilarious uh, but yeah nah the game's good and yes when we get the final boss this game is going to be lengthened by the fact that we need to beat the final boss our hope is that we get good enough at this section that when we add in the final boss, we keep it around an hour. So, because that's like the perfect speedrun time you want. One hour, like the one hour threshold being the competition. It's just long enough to have to have um, focus whenever it occurs. And it's like making it just hard enough that very few people can do it. Um, it's like it becomes a cool competition theme. The way, like same thing with Super Mario Odyssey and other things. But, like, this one hour mark is just, like, a perfect mark. So it looks like we're going to get around there once we add the final boss, which is awesome. Nonetheless, thank you very much, Lady Lisa. You did your job.